All right, and after that last uh, triumph for the Kerbal Space Program, it's time to reap the rewards of all that science. Uh, we have 197 to spend. Um, it might be worth it to just unlock all of these, because that'll get us closer to um, fuel. Let's just start with this one. That leads to heavy rocketry, which is uh, the beginning of large parts, and uh, fuel systems. That's other. That's also large parts. That's uh, aerodynamics. Let's see. We could probably use some reaction wheels. So let's get those. And yes, let's get that too. All right, now I have 62 science to spend, and I don't think that'll be enough for anything in this tier of research. All right, well, uh, yep, I was right. We can't buy anything here, so let's just put some stuff together, and we will see what we can do with the stuff that we've unlocked. Um, we might be able to do another moon, or to do a moon landing, the very first, um, which is my goal. Or, um, well, first of all, we can probably modify this. <clears throat> Let's see what we have. Uh, we have these larger tanks. Not exactly the most helpful thing. Uh, oh yeah, we have new science uh, modules, which we're going to install one on our standard Voyager craft. <coughs> and um, that will net us quite a lot of new science. Um, we can probably get rid of these little antennas and add uh, upgraded comms which is certainly nice. Uh, uh, let's see what else we can we can add. Um, let's take off the boosters and let's just make the liquid engines uh, superfluous. <sighs> Dang, I wish we could have gotten um, the um, fuel lines, those have been really nice and helpful. Uh, let's make the, uh, let's just redo all this. But we're going to make the main, or the first stage here, uh, a little larger than it was. Uh, let's add the vectoring engines on the bottom. Uh, let's go back to... I'm going to start using some larger boosters. So let's put four here and use the large solid fuel boosters. I don't remember actually when we got those, but... Oh, it needs to be farther down. Alright, I have those. Those should give us a nice boost to uh, the moon, which is where I hope to be going. Uh, and let's see, let's put let's put some what's going on? There we go. With these fuel tanks. Uh, let's make it the vectoring engines. Um, I'll work with the staging here in a minute. Let's see. And you know what, let's just put some landing struts on this, just in case, you know, oh, uh, it probably needs to be lower. Just in case, you know, I'm not saying that we're going to uh, make it to the, it probably won't be long enough for that engine. I'm not saying we're going to make it to the moon, but, you know, should be prepared in case we do. Uh, but if we're going to do that, I'm going to change this engine up, make it a smaller engine. Although that is going to cause some problems because of that. You know what? Let's just swap position of... I can get a hold of them here. These ones. These ones. Alright, that gives us a lot more room. Alright. 
Yes, that, that will do nicely. Let's just rename this in advance. Uh, and you know, I think it's time in the Kerbal Space Program to first of all replace this engine. It's outdated. I think it's time to add a little bit of flight control. Um, so let's add that. Let's add some reaction wheels. All right. Um, let us see. All right. Let's work. Let's work on staging. Um, these three and that one will fire. Uh, let's have them all fire at once. But we'll have these um, be on a low thrust, just enough to provide some uh, vectoring. I can't tell which ones are those. Okay, those are the ones we want to jettison. And then these ones, which will trigger this. Alright, and then that goes until here, which activates these engines. Um, well, that's the one problem. I want that right there. So those engines will go. These things will separate off. That is the ones we're looking at, right? Yep, those will separate off. That engine will go. This will just detach, and this will fire. And then everything else... Yeah, it looks good to me. Voyager 5, ready to go. Alright, let's see how this thing handles. Let's put low thrust, and...
Well, it looks like this one's going to be not as successful. Uh, we could probably get another moonshot, uh, but it won't be a landing, most likely. Uh, we will, you know, I'm not saying that for sure yet, but it's not looking like it will be. Um, probably going to need, I did a little modification of the uh, staging order in flight there when I realized that that single engine isn't going to be enough. That's the worst part, um, having to deal with that last little engine that won't really do much for you. But yeah, this will definitely get us to orbit. Um, I mean, obviously we're almost already almost there. This, uh, this reaction wheel is really nice, although I suspect it's going to start eating our power. We really need to get um, fuel systems and electrics up soon, which hopefully the science from this mission we'll uh, we will be able to understand uh, use that. Oh crap! I forgot about that. It doesn't store. I don't need a. I don't even need a node. I'm just gonna burn now. Oh, that that is uh, interesting. Huh. Well, I totally did not do that right. Luckily, this is almost out of fuel, so... accelerate this a little bit. Yeah, it might have been a bit optimistic to expect this to get to the, uh, or to land on the moon. Looks like we're going to need a few uh, design changes. Once we get fuel, though, we'll probably be able to do some um, asparagus type stuff. Which is always fun. But you know what's not fun? Totally screwing up an orbit. I do not do that very often, and when I do, it makes me rather unhappy that I did it. Oh, we're not even out of the atmosphere yet. Shameful. Shameful orbit. Shameful orbit. Just for curiosity, let's see how these, uh... I haven't actually used these new landing legs. Eh, they're pretty standard. They don't... They're not nearly as bad as the old ones were. Those ones were terrible. <laughs> or the, uh, the small size, not the large size. I like the large size pretty well. All right, that's an orbit. We're running out of power pretty quickly because these do not have um, alternators in them. But you know what? I don't think it's that big of a deal. Let's just see if we can get a good uh, moon orbit going. Why don't I go in for another low? Not that low. Last time it was a little scary.
What happened all of a sudden? Doesn't like the orbit anymore. Ah, whatever. That, that, that'll be good enough. We'll fix it later. Two minutes. We don't have two minutes of burn left on this uh, engine, so we'll just have to play it by ear a little bit. Might as well get a uh, mystery goo observation. Nope, it's become totally useless. Uh, materials Bay? That's not bad, uh, but we, I want to save that for the moon. Alright, let's burn. Eh, good enough. This would be so much easier with just a little bit of electricity, but we're not going to get that, it looks like. Alright, well, let's just uh, go to this encounter, do some more science. You know, that's what we're doing here. Science. All right, uh, let's take some more. Let's see if we can get a good... Uh... Why is this not responding? Oh, because we're time accelerated. What, what am I doing? I know how to play this game, I promise. All right, good enough. I'll keep that as one of them. Let's see. Uh, let's get down a little closer. I don't remember, did we take an EVA report from high above the moon? Um, we apparently did, so it's not all that useful. Uh, we'll discard that for now. Let's get a little closer. Let's see, are we no longer considered high above the moon? No, we're still high over the moon. Alright. Good. Let's get a crew report. Uh, let's transmit that. I think we can spare the electricity. Apparently we can't spare that electricity. We don't have nearly enough. Wonderful. Uh, stop transmitting. Let's do an EVA, and let's get a report. Man, they're getting pretty stingy with their science here. I mean, we're flying over the moon, what more do you want? Uh, let's get another mystery gear report. Where's our lowest point going to be? 
1500, we're almost there. Might as well just take the materials bay um, observation. Now 75, yes, keep that data. Are we out of mystery goo? Let's just keep that data. Now, looks like the scientific portion of this is pretty much over. Just gonna go away from the moon. Wait for another come around. Ah, you know what? We don't need to wait for another come around because we have enough uh, fuel to just do it from here. All right, good enough. Let's, uh, let's complete the mission here. Not that quickly, too fast. All right, uh, let's turn on the last little bit of uh, reaction wheel control we have and orient ourselves in the direction that we need to be pointing. And can't time accelerate anymore, but it doesn't really matter. Let's just activate our parachutes and time accelerate to the way down. I think we're going to make it to that uh, continent over there. I'm guessing probably not. What a continent is that? Oh, that's the continent the uh, KSC is on. Yeah, I never really do pay much attention to uh, landing sites. Um, only in certain cases, but you know what? Maybe I should pay more attention to it. Yes, yes. Everything's on fire, as usual. We're just gonna float on down to the water. We could take another surface sample, but what's the point? It's probably gonna be useless by now. Kerbal Space Program has no need for uh, samples of its own planet's water. Seems rather uh, useless. Let's slow down so the parachutes can deploy properly. And we have enough, we have plenty of fuel. Alright, so right down to the ground, or the water, or whatever. Well, it wasn't a landing, but with this new technology, now maybe we can get a landing. Put some asparagus staging on that and get rid of those inefficient boosters. And let's accelerate a little bit. Nice landing. All right, let's go to the Space Center and... Uh, Extract the delicious science from this uh, space pinata. That was a bit of a weird metaphor. 122 science. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, now let's get a... Let's get some new technology. 188 is just enough for us to get two of these technologies. So it's probably going to be electrics and fuel, but let me just make sure there's nothing else here that's really important. Uh, nope. Yep. Let's get fuel and electrics. Now, let's just see what's in the next tier. Can't click on those for some reason. And it's precise engineering, uh, which is small parts. Eh. I'm not really excited about that. Uh, better like solar panels and better batteries, which is um, could be useful. And science gear and ladders, or a science gear and ladders. Not too exciting, and it's also really expensive. 
Well, let's go back and modify the uh, Voyager. All right. First thing, no more boosters. Not that. More, no more boosters. We don't need any more boosters. All right. Let's get rid of this and shrink these down to just two. Um, all right. Let's do that again. I gotta line this up just perfectly, otherwise I will be very upset about it. That's not perfectly. I would like there to be some sort of a vertical alignment capability in KSP, like a vertical snap type thing. It would be quite nice. And two more. All right, there we go. There's our little asparagus stack. Um, let's wire them together with our newfound fuel ducts. And then we'll mess with the staging a little bit. We could even asparagus um, the top stage which would probably improve efficiency a little bit. Uh, but I'll deal with that in a minute. Um, oh, we have RCS now. I, fo I forgot about that. That's it's kind of helpful. I'm not sure I want to put it on this particular um, craft, but eh, maybe. This needs some reconfiguring if we're going to, if this is going to be a moon module though. Uh, let's change this fuel tank out for a smaller one. Uh, wait a second. Why did we even have... Oh, those aren't... Uh, what am I thinking? Those aren't RCS tanks. Alright. Those. There are... Those. Um, let's wire up these Alright, so all these fire at the same time. Good. Uh, first uh, will come off will be these ones, so that one and that one. Second to come off will be these ones. Third to come off will be these ones. And what's that? What's that engine? Oh, uh, no, no, that engine needs to fire with the rest of them. Alright, then they come, those come off. Then that one comes off, and then these ones fire. Um, actually, yeah, I'm, I am going to asparagus rig the top stage. So, these all fire, including this one. Let's make... Oh, no, I have to reconfigure this. Darn. Didn't exactly mean to delete it, but, you know, accidents happen. All right, and I had, what did I have, these ones? Might as well use the small engines. All right, these ones. No, I don't exactly want that to happen. I want those to fire right up here. Let's put some fuel lines between them. Right, that comes off, and then... Where are the new... Oh, there they are. Weird staging, I tell you. So, these, these two on the bottom. These need to, um, these ones need to come off first, so it's going to be these ones, and then these ones, and then that comes off and that fires. Um, yeah, actually let's just put on these.
just in case we have extra fuel and want to land it that way. Um, lights, no, but we do want some solar panels. Let's put those, uh, let's put them one at a time there, there. Uh, we'll put them around this and mm, there. This is going to be really uneven, but I don't really care. All right. Uh, this needs to have a new name. It's no longer Voyager 5. Let's call it, um, could be cheap and just call it Apollo, but that's, that's no fun. Let's just call it front Frontier 1. Uh, we put some batteries on this. Uh, so we have enough power to uh, transmit some transmit some data. Science, uh, we don't have any new science modules. But I think we're ready to go here. Yep, let's launch this thing. This is going to be a little, long, a little longer video than I had intended, but uh, you know what? It doesn't matter. All right, let's let's uh, let's go. Losing vertical velocity. Which is not good.
No, I don't think this one will, will get there either. But, um, you know, we could just retool the mission a little bit. Minmus isn't too far away. Let's get into orbit first, and then we'll decide what we're going to do. Um, oh, this one's going to start burning. Alright, we got an orbit going. Um, let's see, we don't have not much of this stage left. But it should be enough to get us on a nice transfer orbit to Minmus, and that could get us a nice new frontier of science. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, let's set this so we can get a maneuver going. Let's get out. No, oh, wow, no. Let's just get, okay, we'll make this a, a two-part orbit, or a orbit change. First, we have to change inclination to match pretty closely, uh, which shouldn't take too long, although it's telling me 31 seconds. Regardless, this should be enough for a, a flyby, I think. Definitely not a landing, but... Close enough. Okay, now we're on orbit and we can just get an orbit up there and uh, get an encounter anytime we want. That's close enough. We should be able to get there, no problem. Um, but while we're here, in just an orbit, let's do some exploitation with this Science Junior. 25. Um, let's transmit that. It won't get us much, but it'll be something. And here we go.
All right. Heading out to Minmus. Decent amount of fuel left. Long journey ahead. All right, let's get a mystery goo observation, which I am still time accelerated, which is why it's not working. I already did that in this video once. 40, not bad. And there is the beautiful moon itself. Let's turn around and get ourselves a bit of a closer orbit. Um, let's, we're orbiting straight under. Let's burn north. That's probably about as close as we can get safely. Uh, I want to get us into a good orbit. Let's see. No, that's the wrong way. 12 seconds of burn. I think we can afford that. They're a little closer. Let's get another uh, mystery goo observation. All right. Well, here we are. We're in orbit around Minmus. And I am extremely tempted to try a landing. I I have like I don't have much fuel left. I have probably just enough to get us back home safely. So, no, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to resist the urge. Anyway, while we're here, let's get science junior observation. Wow, 100 Nice. Um, get another mystery goo observation. And let's just get the third one once we leave. Uh, which we should be doing pretty soon here. Let's, let's make our orbit a little... A little better. We're going to come pretty close to the surface there. We can burn if we need to, but other than that, we're just going to... Okay, no, we don't want to go that way. Alright, that's in a few minutes. But it is going to take us fairly close to the surface on our way around, which will give us a good chance to do an EVA report. You know what I have done before? I have EVA down to the surface um, and come back up to this uh, ship which actually isn't an awful idea. Um, so instead of having to land, we just use the uh, jetpack fuel. Not the smartest of ideas, but then again, this is Kerbal Space Program. Um, I'm trying to decide whether or not I should do it. First, let's make sure this orbit doesn't kill us. Oh no, we're fine. Uh, 
Yeah, let's just do it. We're going to the surface. This is not a smart idea, but at least it's fun. Get ourselves slowed down here a little bit. Gotta say, I cannot picture NASA ever approving anything like this. This seems like a very un NASA esque thing to do. I don't know if un NASA esque is a word, but it is now. Of course, NASA also wouldn't just make diversions like this. Just like, oh, can't go to the moon, I guess we better go to. We don't actually have a Minmus in our system, so. Okay, if we did have a Minmus, it, this would not be something that NASA would do. Like, ah, the system we designed wasn't good enough. Let's just say, screw it and go somewhere else. Less than half of our fuel. And a little bit of a rough landing, but you know what? We made it. Jeb's excited. Let's take that surface sample that 150. Wow. Uh, and let's plant that flag. And this is, uh, what was the, uh, what was the ship called? I honestly cannot remember what the ship was called. Um, oh yeah, Frontier, Frontier. Frontier landing, and the black text was, wait. How did I get here? There we go. Perfect. Uh, how we're not anywhere near any of the. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of pocket of the uh, oceans there, but no. Let's just wait for the space back spacecraft to come around again. I can't speak English. Well, I have wait again because I overshot that one. And let's. Uh, let's just take off. Probably a good idea to monitor this by looking at the... I am not going the right direction. That is the right direction. Also not the right direction. It's kind of hard without a nav ball. Forty percent. Oh, I didn't mean to switch to that. Only meant to... Set it as my target. Really hoping this doesn't turn out to be a bad idea.
right, here's the plan. We get up there, get to right about here, look where the ship is, orient ourselves exactly away from it, and go that way. How much fuel do we have left? 25%. That's a bit scary. Yeah, 20%. We're really near the ship, I think. There it is. I'm just going to do a rookie move here. 13%. I am just going to go right toward it. Oh, I hope it has not crashed into that embankment down there. Oh, we have 8%. We're almost there. Seven percent. If we make it, it's going to be close. Six. Ah, it's still actually about seven. Yeah, uh, wow, we've made it. Wow. <laughs> this is a pretty crazy uh, end to this mission. Don't think anyone at the uh, command center expected this to happen. Beautiful. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. Um, I think I'm going to actually end this video off here. Assume I landed as normal. I'll show you how much science I got in the next video. So I'll see you later, guys. This was fun. Uh, after completing the mission, I decided I might as well just show uh, this now. From this mission, which included a lot of good stuff, a lot of good observations, survey samples, we got 400 science, bringing us up to almost 500 science. So that'll bring us in for the next video. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.